Hi, Steve, Wichita This video is going to show you how you can take a very rough textured wall, smooth it out, and then put knockdown on it to look like this wall here. The first clip didn't work out too good. For, I don't know what I did, but it you still get a gist of the condition of the wall and then smoothing it out and making it look like a nice knockdown wall. So I'll, I'll uh, get started. I'm just using a five and one right now. As you can see, it'll take a lot of the high stuff off and then you hit it with a pole sander or a sanding block. You should be good to start budding. So now we got one coat on it. I'll get close here. But all you're really trying to do at this point is fill in all the big areas. All the, these pinholes aren't gonna amount to anything. Those will fill on the next coat. And it generally might take three coats. And we'll come back tomorrow after it dries and give her another coat. All right, we got the second coat of mud on it. Now what we're doing is just giving it a light sanding. It's kind of hard to tell. All you can see is white. But it's, uh, it's pretty smooth. And now we're getting ready to sh shoot knockdown on it. So now we got the knockdown sprayed on it. These walls are really wavy. So when I do wavy walls, which is basically palm plaster, I mean uh, plaster lath, instead of pulling it with a knife right now, I'll wait, let it dry, and come back with sandpaper tomorrow and just hit it lightly with sandpaper and you'll get the same look. And we'll paint it caulk the corners, paint it, we'll be done. Since the walls are so uneven, instead of knocking the walls down, it's easier to just take a light piece of sandpaper or a sanding block and just do a real light sand. And it gives you the same, same look as knocked down, but when you go over plaster lath, the walls are not flat. And you get a better look by using a sanding block and sanding instead of trying to knock it down with a knife. If you knock it down with a knife, you get a lot of flat spots. Well, this is the final look of this knockdown. Since we changed it from the real deep palm plaster, it's just an older style. This is just a newer style. Ceilings are painted. Came out looking good, updated it. This is a pretty good video. It shows just what you can cover up, how deep of a texture you can cover up just by taking some mud and smoothing it out. Take the time to smooth it out and then if you want to go back with a knockdown, that's great. If you don't, that's fine. But you can you can really cover up a lot of problems just by smoothing it out. If you have any questions, just comment. I'll answer all the questions. Um, I try to keep my videos short. I try to get stay to the point. It doesn't do any good to sit and watch a video and me trying to joke around and all that stuff. That that doesn't work. Just make sure you subscribe, comment, and I'll answer the comments and. Good luck on your projects.